Hello everybody. Thanks for jumping back in and watching the channel. Um, I do have a quarter hunt coming up here. So it's been a little while since I've done a quarter hunt. I'm really excited to get into it. Wanted to make sure I get some more W quarters as always. Definitely want to get some more album fillers. I was going to bring y'all in and show y'all that I do need a Javita 2023 Philadelphia for sure. Now I've had a couple of the Hope quarters that I completely forgot to even slab up and put in there. So hopefully in this box here, as you see, we got a Javita there. If it's Philadelphia, definitely going to hold on to it. But we got some back quarters there. It might be uh, W showing possibly on Enders. We got some possible more varieties in here. But as always, definitely looking for silver. There's a Maria Tall Chief. I think I've got, yeah, I've got the Philadelphia and the Denver for the Maria Tall Chiefs there. But cross the fingers for silver, as always, to feed the jar. Definitely want to get some W's if possible. A lot of Eagle Backs with a lot of designs on there, a lot of die clashes. Uh, but yeah, if we can get any of those, it'd be fantastic. Let's go ahead and jump into this first box. And I will have a second box come in. This is Friday, so Saturday morning. Tomorrow morning, I'll probably pick up the second box, run through it, and hopefully have the hunt, the video ready for y'all on Saturday. Bringing you in for a quick update. Looks like we got about, what, six rolls left in the box there. Um, probably the third stack of varieties that I've been through. The third stack of... <clears throat> bicentennials that I'll go through, but I'm gonna finish out the box before I get jumping onto these. But I got a few finds so far. This last roll here, actually, I pulled out an NIFC there, got an S mint mark. That's gonna be the George Rogers Clark 2017. I want to say I have this in the binder already, but it doesn't hurt to get another NIFC. <clears throat> I did pull a Chocolate Culture, as you see, that's a Philadelphia, so that's a little tougher for me to find. There's a really um, a lower mintage on there. Look at this 2024. You see the little wave pattern on the right side there? I don't know if it's some kind of chemical. It's actually back over here to the left also, so it's kind of waved all the way around there. I'm going to put it up under the scope here in a minute and see, see if it's just missing a, a little bit of enameling on there. That would be a cool little design, though, if that was also missing on there. But pulled out one of the Hope Quarters, as per mentioned, wanted to hold off on this and uh, put that in the binder. But this one right here, look at the size of the, oh, dropped you. Look at the size of the die chip on that lip. Man. Yeah, you can go ahead and cut that lip off. <laughs> that thing's huge. Yep. So I got that also on top of there. But I'm <clears throat> going to show you two quarters. This right here, you definitely want to look for the Wisconsin, Philadelphia. And... It's just a reference because I've seen a couple of them pulled in the past couple of weeks, but either a high leaf or low leaf, you'll see an extra little bit. It looks like a little, um, uh, just a piece of extra metal right here, like a, a die crack or something that comes off of there. It's either a low leaf, which is going to be kind of right in this area. It's going to be a low leaf, or you can have a high leaf that kind of curls in the same pattern as this bigger leaf right here is. So you might have either one here or one here. So low leaf and high leaf. Make sure to look at that if you're looking for those. And then two, the back quarters. Um, this Philadelphia version. Now, a buddy of mine, uh, Dirty Water, actually pulled a really nice, uh, it's a strike through air. Basically, the strike through air would be a big indentation on top of the eyeballs, basically making it a blind bat. So that is a more valuable one. Or you can find one that has a strike through air on the one eyeball here. It's, a, it's just a huge hole. You won't even be able to see the eye, but that would be a strike through error. And those are worth a little bit of money. I want to say 35, 40 bucks for those, but the bigger ones, just saw one the other day, sell for like $85 online. Decent condition though, but anyhow, just wanted to bring you all in, show you a little update real quick. Have the box racked up here in a second. Okay, knocked out this first box here. Went through all the varieties and uh, put all of them in the bag. I'm going to take the bag. Like I said, tomorrow morning, I'm grabbing another box of quarters. But I did also throw the chocolate culture back in there. I have a full tube that's basically as good or better condition as the one that I just found. But we went ahead, and like I say, I still have the Hope quarter there, the 2023 with the big die chip, that nice little S uh, NIC there. And then I do have that quarter, the uh, Hope quarter up under here. But as you see, you see the wavy design that's on there? It starts right here and it just goes through there. It's like a cog or it's like a, uh, I mean, I'm not for sure what that would be. See that going through there? And if you switch over here to the other side, it's actually another little bit right here. It's just a little bitty portion of a cog, but it's not a, it's nothing on the coin like a chemical or anything, but it's just discoloration. Not for sure what that would be. 
I don't really see it as raised fields on there. It's just like say missing a little enameling or something like that. But that's interesting. A little weird. Let me know if you've ever seen that on a quarter before. But put it off to the side. Like I say, bring in box number two. Okay, got box number two here. So I also have $100 stacked up from a bank that usually doesn't give me coin. But I went in there. I try to negotiate with them. Say 200 and quarters. They're like, eh, we could do 50. I was like, could you do 100? Eh, yeah, we could do 100. So finally gave me $100 of quarters. Which is perfectly fine. It just adds to the hunt here. But we got box number two. Let's go ahead and jump in. See if we get something. I'm still going through the loose rolls here. I've got a, quite a few of them stacked up, as you see, for the varieties, though. But just to give you a heads up, there's a new 2024 quarter out. Denver Minted. Shows equal opportunity in education. Patsy Takamoto, I guess. Mink. Not sure. I don't know. Title nine, yeah. Good luck on all that. He just canceled that. So anyhow, 2024 quarter. Just to let you know, I'll put it up under the scope here in a second. I've got three of them actually right here so far. So I'm gonna put them up under the scope. See if there's anything going on with the Denver ones that I can see possible errors. Hopefully. So I knocked out the loose rolls and then I jumped into the box. Got about ten rolls in on the box. Started working on some of the varieties in here to get these knocked off the table. Now I did pick up an oddity a second ago. It was kind of funny. Weight of double poop. So just somebody bored with their life just to do something. That's definitely an oddity. I added two up here to check and see if I can upgrade in the album if possible. But I'm working on, like I said, the varieties here. I've got a 1970 Denver, as you see there, 1970D up under the scope. This one has some telltale signs. You can see right there in the bar on the E. Looks like that's doubled there. And then also there should be in the R, you see the notching in the middle of the R. It's actually coming inside of the R here. It's supposed to be notched a little more. It's a little worn in. Same thing with the T. T's a little, little thicker on the base here, the T. And uh, then get back over here to the B. The B's actually got some in the front side here and it's really thick in the back of the B. You can definitely tell on the I, see the I right here, where it's actually notched a little more coming out. The L is thick also, which the L is kind of sitting at a little wop-sided angle to where it was supposed to be at, but L's a little thicker there too. I'm not seeing the notching where it shows on for the FS102 on Variety Vista, but a bigger telltale sign that they say is the O. See the O on there, how oblong it is. It's actually really thick on this side here. It's not just a perfect O, so a zero. But yeah, thicker on this side here. The seven's notched across the top here. The nine, the belly of the nine, and then it's telling you that the one also, you know, one's gonna sit true. It's gonna sit flat on the bottom, flat on top. It's kind of catty corner to where it's longer, elongated here and elongated up the top left. So. Let you know that there was another little portion there, but it would have been a really nice DDO if it was in good condition. You see you got some damage down here below the neck. It's just a, like I say, a pretty worn in 70D there, but that would have been a nice DDO. Like I said, if it, we'd uh, found it a lot earlier on in its uh, childhood. So I would set that up as a find anyhow. Keep moving. Box number two knocked out, all the varieties and everything checked out on there. So. Didn't get any silver, didn't get any Ws, which is perfectly fine. We did get some fines. I did already check in for the up, uh, the upgrades possible for the album. None of them would upgrade, which is fine. So we did get our SNIFC there, and then we had that 1970D, which I think is a, a DDO, pretty rough shape, but I don't have a 70D DDO, so I'm going to go ahead and hold on to it until we get a better one later on, and like I said, we'll switch it out. But we've got a couple of finds here. This is going to be the Minnesota. This is the Philadelphia 2005. And you're going to be looking for either the fourth tree or the sixth tree, as I would call it. Now, you can have, you see this rock here, you can actually have a tree growing outside of the rock here, which would be little uh, die chips that are actually like this. This is actually the extra tree that's sitting there. So it's just, I say the fourth tree, because one, two, three, four, if you get this one, five six if you get this one so right there as you see you see it's got a little bit die chip a little bit of uh additional chipping and stuff like that growing it looks like a little bit of tree in the background so that one would be one of the varieties that you're going to be looking for for the extra tree on there so held it off to the side i have a couple of them but not too terribly many 
And then this is going to be the Philadelphia version of this Maya Angelou 2022 here. Uh, I held this one up to the side due to the, looks like it's got some feeder finger marks or some kind of, uh, some kind of abrasion marks going through there. It's actually over here at the end of the wings also. Now there's something going on with the chin there. As you see the chin, she's got something what looks like a die clash coming off. And I'm not for sure on the earrings, they're kind of smooshed in, but the main reason why I held this one off to the side was because of the clashing on the front here. See right there behind the ear, you can see her mouth and her chin and stuff right there behind her ear. So we do have a nice little Maya Angelou die clash there. So that's kind of interesting. I don't see anything on top. Actually, see the, there's a die chip right there in the lip also. So you got a nice little chipping there. Nothing up underneath of there. Nice track through on that. And then nothing behind the braid. Probably a little bit behind the ponytail right there. As you see, turn it over. Yeah, just a little bit of uh, die clashing on there. But next day, I, I don't find very many 2000 or 2022, 2023 Philadelphia coins. And this one's in decent condition with a nice die clash on there. Then the 2024 Hope Quarters. And as you see, like I said, it's kind of have some kind of enameling enameling air on there or something but it does look kind of like what would a cog would look like like almost like a spoke or something for your uh, uh crankshaft or whatnot so it's that's interesting there but then too there's another one right above it there that was not as fine as this one is you can definitely see this one and I'm just not sure what that is it's on both of these here maybe it was out of the same print run there stamping so then move on over to our 2022 philadelphia there you see the nice big die chip is right in his lip pretty chunky one there move on over here to the two that i'm going to load up in the album which is the new 2024 patsy uh takamoto and then the hope quarter here which i totally forgot to put in but two definite finds that are going to go up in the album and then that one oddity that I'm probably going to throw back in the bag. Anyhow, hope y'all like the hunt. Nice little corner hunt here. Hopefully I can take this back up to the bank in a little bit. Go ahead and grab a couple boxes of pennies and run through. Hopefully we get some more wheat scents that we can stack up in the bag. More wheat scents for our Lincoln scent album. And uh, hope y'all enjoyed the video. Make sure you subscribe and I will see y'all on the next video.